Hey guys! Alright folks, we're here today to check out the Patreon poll winner of the week and Oceans with Cloud Heads. Brand new single, brand new song for their upcoming new album coming out January. I, I don't know the exact date, but on, in January on Season of Mist. And this is the buffer that we need to protect us from that shit show of Nickelback. The new record comes out around the same time. So uh, pick up two copies of this record just to offset the other bullshit. It's protection. That's coming your way. Yeah, just like a condom in an orgy. Exactly. You need to feel protected. And if you want to go fancy, then you can get a ribbed one for extra pleasure and extra fun. So that would be buying two and Ocean Records. Yeah. It would be the ribbed condom in this in this analogy that we're putting together here. Perhaps horrible analogy, but it's neither here nor there. All right. Are you uh, ready to check this out? Yeah. Oh, by the way, this is also came recommended by Galactic Criminal. He sent oh. me a message on Instagram saying, Hey, I checked this out on the channel. You guys should give this a spin. So the, the bearded munchkin there thinks that this is good shit. So... Oops. Yeah, boobs. So now, uh, now, now the the bar is slightly higher. Yeah, the bar is slightly higher. The bar is slightly higher. All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's fucking go.
Definitely a rib condom. All right, for the extra pleasure. What do you think? It, I was, I was gonna go somewhere somewhere similar uh, to that, but yeah, this is definitely what I'm gonna need uh, to protect myself. To protect my ears from Nickelback. From, from Nickelback, yeah, definitely. This was some good shit. This was fucking good. <clears throat> Especially the middle there, where it got more, you know, more bass and more keyboard, and then hits you again with the heavy guitar kind of to, to go back to what it was um there was a lot of uh i don't know if you saw there was, yeah, a, lot there was of, a lot of fingering no it wasn't this one it was the middle finger yeah there was a lot of finger f- finger tapping finger tapping there um but yeah man i, I think it's a finish thing it probably is a finish thing i you know like i i see a lot of guys playing keyboards but only finish guys have that technique where they're typing on like a keyboard yeah but but it's different because I don't know. It, it's most guys I see playing the keyboard. They have like full on like they're fisting the damn thing. Like you know, they're they're five the f- five finger death punching the fucking keyboard. Didn't have to run. Um, up thing. But uh, the Finnish guys tend to do a lot of this this stuff. A- anyhow, I don't know. Maybe it's, they want to be more precise or really get that note. Yeah, like it, it's because it does seem like it's more of a power it, it's power a, play there. <laughs> Maybe it is. It maybe it's the keyboard player's equivalent to what power stands on the guitar. I'm just saying. I don't, or maybe I don't it's know. the keyboard version of finger tapping. Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, yeah, that that, that I. You're playing does. normally, and then you go to. Yeah, then you go. Yeah. The version of shredding. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're right. I think I think you you got something going there. All right. But yeah, I I really enjoyed the song. It had the darkness that I like, but also. Kind of like a, a light shining in, just like in the video, kind of like a light shining in. But I really did like, it kind of dropped off a bit from the guitar wise and became more bass and keyboard. And I like that part. I like the keyboard uh, a lot on this song because it didn't sound industrial to me. And that's something that, you know, these guys have done in the past. So it's, it wouldn't be something out of... Uh, out it of was, the realm of possibility yeah, for really end spacey. ocean. Uh, no, I actually, well, I, I felt more almost like a uh, spacey, more sci-fi, like a, sci-fi. a dark sci-fi, like horror sci-fi. That's what I mean. So if you think about a movie like Aliens, for example, it, it is in space, but it's still a horror movie, right? Yeah, so it, but more like horror sci-fi. I got more super dark. The sci-fi, melody was super sci-fi dark. Sci-fi was the word I was looking for. I got more of a sci-fi. Type thing, but yeah, dark sci-fi would be... dark sci-fi, horror sci-fi, whatever. Like that, that, that Hitchcock meets Aliens. You know what I mean? Like you don't know what's gonna happen around the corner. You see this shadow, and that music is playing in the background. And you're like, the music is playing. Something bad is gonna happen. Why you're going down there? You know, they don't, they can't hear the music, so it is what it is. So anyhow, uh, it had the, a little bit of that vibe. I, you know, I used to be, so, I used to be like, fuck, can't they hear the music? Why the fuck are they going? Yeah, down there? like with Jaws. Every time the shark gets closer, Guys, the music can't goes, you hear the... Can you hear the fucking music? Get the fuck out of the water! The music is playing. I, I, yeah. I feel like if I actually saw like a shark in the water and people were like out there, I'd be like, can't you fuckers hear the music? There's a shark in the water. No, they're gonna hear the music once the shark <laughs> bites them. But the music is gonna be a siren from nine one one. Anyhow. I, I love the keyboards on this track because of, of the melody and the experience and the atmosphere that it creates. Really, that horror, sci-fi vibe, that darkness that it has, it's really important for this track to work. And it's one of the reasons I really enjoy the keyboards. It didn't take me down um, a lighter path. Uh, it, it took me down a darker path. You don't always see the keyboards or synthesizers in songs like this or bands like this used, the, used in this in this fashion, at least modern day bands now, everybody's using the keyboards now to sound like they're fucking ABBA. You know, yeah. it's like, close your eyes, pick a random band, specifically like heavy metal or power metal, and all the keyboard, power metal definitely. and all the keyboard is like you're, you're ABBA. So it's nice to get to, to hear the keyboards have a completely different impact on a song, a more ominous sound, a more darker sound, a little bit of that sci-fi feel, but the darkness is undeniable, and undeniably there. And I think that's one of the reasons I really enjoy the keyboards. And I didn't mind how much of the keyboards I got throughout this entire song, because that's also another thing that I'm always not, not always a fan of to have songs that are keyboard driven instead of depending more on the guitars or depending more on the vocals or more on the drums. This song has a lot of keys, but that 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 darkness, that ambiance that it creates, I don't think you can do it in any other way. You have yeah, to create that as the also, backdrop. It also, like you said, you don't like the drivenness of certain keyboard sounds, 
but uh, in this song, the drivenness was coming from the guitars and everything. Yeah, the, the, I, the, the keyboard was, was a lot the of key, even, Yeah, even though it was a lot of keyboard, yes, it created the ambiance in the background and just this this heavy weighted blanket onto the song, but yet wasn't driving it forward. It was just there. It was there, just the, the to keep. It, it was almost like sometimes you talk about thinking outside the box. The keyboards were the box. They were the box, and yeah. they were holding everything in it. They were holding the guitars, they were holding the drums, they were holding the bass, they were holding the vocals, everything was in it. So it, it works really well when you put the keyboards for songs like this as the wrapper, as the blanket, as the box that brings everything together. And then you allow other elements within it to drive the experience. Because you're talking about the guitars, but I love the drums on this track. I thought the drums were phenomenal on this song. Because they, they had so much power, they had so much heaviness, but they were not really overpowering everything else. Like you could feel, uh, it's it's almost like going back to Jaws. When the song gets faster, you know the shark is closer, yeah. right? And I felt like in the, in on this track, uh, the the ebbs and flows of the track were more given to us by the drums. Because when the drums got heavier, it was almost like the danger was closer, and then they dissipated a little bit. Then they would get heavy again, and I'm like, oh, it's there's always this. They create it was a this nice movement. Flow. Yeah, they create movement. They create flow, and and it, it really allows the song to, while being in the box that's created by the keyboards, still have movement within that box. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that you have to make a song that's like, you know, linear and flat and it didn't boring. Feel predictable. You know? No, no, it. It felt like it had life, it had energy, and you were always like excited to see what was gonna come next. And then the bass on this track sounds really good. It does and does. it pops quite a bit, so you get to hear it, and that also helps to ground the song to create that ambiance. Because normally the the bass and drums work in, in unison or in parallel with one another, and they have a very similar effect to how a song comes together. But on this track, I actually felt like the bass was working well off of the keyboards. Because while the keyboards are creating this outer layer, the bass was creating the most inner layer. It, it was really interesting the way the track worked like that. And then you have the vocals somewhere in the middle. Because the vocals were not at the front, but they were not all the way in the back. They were somewhere in there. And, and everything kind of like mixed in together. It's just really good sound. Good experience, good sound. Uh, and I really like the keyboards. If you're gonna use the keyboards in this more darker tone, in, in this more atmospheric tone, but a, an atmosphere that represents all the other instruments well, that it's the continuation of what the guitars are doing, of what the bass is doing, of what the drums is doing, that's phenomenal. I, I really enjoy it from that point of view and not necessarily adding it there and feeling like an add-on at the end and then allow that add-on to control where the song is gonna go. Here, I didn't feel that way. I feel like I was being taken somewhere, like you said, by the guitars and by everything else, and then the, 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 the mist around me was, was the keyboard sound. Really, really incredible track. And the vocals were phenomenal. Yeah. I really enjoy the vocals as well. Maybe a little bit higher up. on the Yeah, on the mixing. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little bit I more did, defined. I did, I did feel like sometimes they were hiding a little bit, but then they would come back out. I don't know if that was trying to do what they were trying to do, but the parts where they were going back in, I wish they actually just stayed out. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think they could have been slightly a little bit more in the forefront to have more of a deep impact in terms of what the song brings. Because they they had energy, they had they bring that aggression. They had aggression, yeah. Because the song has aggression in the drums, it has aggression in the guitars, but, but it also has so much melody in it that kind of hides it. But there was raw aggression in the in the in vocals. the vocals. And in my opinion, if there's one little thing that I would have changed, maybe on the mixing, have the vocals a little bit more into the forefront so they're more noticeable. Yeah, they're more noticeable. All right, guys, this is it for End Oceans. But fuck, if this is the first single. It gets me excited we about the record. Protection. Yeah, yeah, it gets me excited about the record. Like you have to put your best foot forward as far as the first single is concerned, and this one definitely is definitely is. putting your best foot forward. Yeah. Well, I haven't heard the rest of the album, but based on one song alone, the album the album should be it's, aces. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, considering like some bands have released three, four singles, and none of them like really hit the mark for me. So when you hear a single first one like this, uh, I don't know makes me dream about what the record is going to be like so excited about january new release from end oceans all right are you good yeah i'm good all right guys let us know your thoughts on the band these guys have been around for a long time um and like i said new record new song let us know your thoughts let us know where you're at with this track what does it do it for you or what doesn't do for you uh that's what the comment section is here for and we'll see you guys at the next video see ya